A Good Man Goes to War was the seventh episode and mid-series finale of Series 6 of Doctor Who. It was the last episode of the spring half of the sixth series. It was, in a sense, the first episode of a two-part story, followed by Let's Kill Hitler. It revealed the identity of River Song, naming her as Melody Pond, the daughter of Amy Pond and Rory Williams. The mid-series finale also introduced the Headless Monks, a militaristic faction of the Silence, and formally introduced the ubiquitous Eyepatch Lady as the malevolent Madame Covarian. It also showed the extent to which the Doctor had become feared and the lengths to which those who feared him were willing to go to be rid of him. Equally so, it revealed how easily the Doctor could assemble a small army and counter an enemy's force, and the severity of his anger when someone he deeply cared about was tormented to the point that irreversible damage was done to their life. Further notable moments were the reappearances of several of the Doctor's allies, enemies, and neutral acquaintances, and the introduction of several previously unseen friends. Three individuals who debuted in this story would later become known as the Paternoster Gang as they continued to make appearances as a collective. Madame Vastra, her lover Jenny Flint, and the Santaran Strax, the last of which died in this episode, but had his death reversed in the mini-episode The Battle of Demons Run, two days later. This story marked the first time that the BBC Wales series had not broadcast an uninterrupted 13-episode run for a series of Doctor Who. As a result of its status as a mid-series finale, the length and allotted runtime of the episode was extended to 50 minutes. The episode was also given an ending that would allow for a reasonable time skip to take place in-universe, where the Doctor sets off on his own in search of Melody Pond. However, Viewers can still watch Series 6 in full without any difference in the story arc progression. The major plots introduced at the beginning of this series were continued in the latter half of the broadcast and tied up in a standalone finale. The practice of splitting apart a 13-episode series would be repeated with Series 7, which contained further experiments with the series format. It was comprised of two different character-related story arcs that were contained in the first and second parts of Series 7 and premiered new episodes across two years, incorporating a Christmas special in between the break that bridged the two halves of the series. The singular run format, reduced to 12 episodes rather than 13, would return when the Twelfth Doctor's era began. It wouldn't be revealed until the time of the Doctor that Madame Covarian had not been truly villainous. The war she spoke of wasn't simply the Doctor's enemies trying to kill him like normal. The Covarian chapter of the Papal Mainframe was trying to kill him before he could even take part in the Siege of Trenzalore and his personal future. She believed that if the Doctor were to die before the Siege, the Time Lords would not be released from their pocket universe, thus preventing the Time War from starting anew. Despite the beheading of Doria Maldivar in this episode, he would return in the wedding of River Song as a still living head. In that case, it was revealed that Dorian possessed vital information about what Madame Covarian and her followers were up to with Melody Pond that he didn't share with the doctor at Demon's Run. Dorian would defend himself as it being a busy day and I got beheaded, for his reasons for not sharing what he knew at the time.